heard. Okay. All right. Let's come to a comfortable seated position and let's start doing our breath work. All right. We're going to do a two part inhale today. So starting from the pelvic area to our navel, we're going to inhale for the count of two and then we'll hold our breath for one. And then from the navel to the sternum, inhale another two and then a long free exhale. So let's try that, okay? Bring your hands palm facing up, close your eyes, go inward. From your pelvic to the navel, inhale two, hold for one, and then inhale two to your sternum. And then a long exhale, free exhale. And let's do that two more cycles. Inhale two, hold, inhale two, to the sternum and long exhale. Inhale two, hold. Inhale two, long exhale, free exhale. All right, just come to comfortable breathing now. Pretend you see a rainbow light at the tailbone. It's all, all different colors of the rainbow. And on the inhale, it's gonna come all the way up, spiral up the back of your spine, all the way up to the crown. And all these rainbow colors will come back down to your tailbone, spiraling around your vertebrae, around your spine. And just envision that two more rounds at your own pace, breathing in and out, up and down. Now let's set our intention for the practice today. Whatever that is for you, set your intention this morning. And we'll inhale our arms up, bring your palms together. On your exhale, bring your hands in front of you. Turn your palms together. Interlace your fingertips and turn your palms away from you. Draw your chin down towards your chest, elongate the back of the spine. And inhale, lift the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. All right, let's do a little twist while we're sitting here. Our right hand will come behind us, our left hand to that right knee. And then exhale, you're going to look over your right shoulder. Exhale, twist. Breathe for four breaths. Go back to center. Inhale, bring your right hand down to the left knee. Bring your left hand around the chair behind you. Look over your left shoulder and breathe for four. Coming back to center. All right, let's start doing some hip circles. Hands on the top of the knees and come to the right side. Come all the way over, then lean forward on your exhale and come all the way to the left side. So on your inhale, go to the right. On your exhale, lean forward. Inhale to the left. Exhale straight. All right, keep going. Keep rotating around the hips. Good. I know you feel that. Let's do the other way. Rotate the other way. So now you're rotating opposite, whatever way you started from. I'm doing left side. Coming back to neutral. Straighten the arms. Let's do some seated cat and cow. So your hands start straight. And then on the inhale, you're rocking forward. Bring those shoulder blades together. Tilt your chin up to the sky. On your exhale, round the back and straighten your arms. Draw your chin down. Inhale, come forward. If you have your um, mute, mute, mute your uh, speaker for me. Exhale down if you have it on. There should be a thing that says mute. Inhale, come up, look up at the sky. Exhale, round, draw your chin down. Let's do three more like this, okay? Inhale, look up. Exhale, round, draw your chin down. Inhale, look up, this is two. Exhale, round, draw your chin down. This will be our last one. Inhale, rock forward, tilt your chin up to the sky. And exhale, round, draw your chin down towards your chest. 
Good. Coming back to neutral. All right, let's bring our legs out a little wider. Turn your heels toward each other. And then we're going to do some lateral stretches. So our right forearm is going to be on our right thigh or quad. And we're going to sweep our left arm over our head for a long lateral stretch. And now when we bring it back to the other side, we're going to turn our gaze and then look at the thumb. And then inhale overhead. Exhale, come back and look at your thumb. Inhale overhead. Exhale, come back. Let's do two more times. Last one, and we're gonna hold here now. Look at the left thumb and hold your gaze, turn left, and breathe for three breaths. Uh, need, somebody needs to turn their speaker off. Yes. So everybody mute your speaker, please. Left forearm down, bring your right arm up overhead, palm facing down. On your exhale, bring that right hand back and look at your right thumb. Inhale, bring that arm overhead. Exhale, come back behind and look at that right thumb. Let's do four more times. And hold and breathe. I'm going to just mute everybody here. Okay, I'm muting everybody. So, okay, everybody should be muted now. Sorry about that, guys. All right, inhale over. And then exhale, keep your gaze right. Look at the thumb, breathe for three breaths here. Coming back to neutral. All right, let's bring our legs a little further apart. We're gonna come into a forward fold. Bring your hands up to thighs, and on your exhale, you're gonna slide your hands all the way down to your ankles and draw your forehead down. And then come all the way back up to where we started from. Good. Exhale, go back down again. Draw your forehead down. Inhale, slide back up, slide back up. And let's do three more times. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. We're going to hold down here. Hold at your deepest level and breathe for three breaths. And slide back up to where we started from. All right, good. Shake it out. Bring your knees back together. And we're going to do some right and left brain stuff here. All right, we're gonna lift our right arm, and I might be opposite you, so you just lift your right arm and lift the left leg, flex the foot, and exhale, come back to where we started. Now lift the left arm and right foot, exhale, back to where we started. Lift the right arm and left foot, exhale, back. Lift the left arm and right foot, Exhale back. Now we're going to turn at another dimension. We're going to turn our head. So lift the right arm, left leg. Now turn your head left, look left. Exhale back to center. Left arm raises, right leg, look right. Exhale back to center. And again, one more time each side. Right arm, left leg, look left. Exhale, release. Left arm, right leg, look right. And exhale and release. All right, nice job. Let's walk, come up to almost about the, the edge of your chair, all the way to the edge, and we're gonna flex our feet. So our feet look like this, they're flexed. 
And we're gonna lift our arms up on the inhale, slowly slide the hands down all the way down. You can bend the knees a little when you go down towards your ankles, all the way down. And then we're gonna slide them back up. Inhale, lift the arms back up. Bring your hands to prayer. Bring them to the top of your thighs and slide them down. Draw your forehead down and slide them back up. Inhale, lift up. Bring your hands to prayer. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide back up. Inhale, lift the arms up. Bring your palms to prayer. And exhale, slide down. And slide back up. Whoa, all right. All right, let's scoot to the middle of our chair. Now we're going to work with our arms and goal posts. Bring your arms and goal posts. And then we're going to twist to the right, twist to the right, and come back to center. Twist to the left, and center. To the right, and center. To the left, and exhale, center. And now we're gonna pulse three to the right, pulse. One, two, three, and center. Pulse to the left, one, two, three and center pulse to the right one two three and center and pulse to the left one two three and release the arms good all right we're going to work with our weights now get, grab your little weights and we'll start off goal post arms so we're going to open up into our butterfly so it looks like this from the side all right and then open your into your butterfly and bring that scapula together and then back to where you started. Open up, keeping the elbows raised if you can. An option to not use the weights, just drop the weights. You don't need them if you don't have them. If you have uh, water bottles, you can use them. If you have a can of peas, you can use a can of peas. Whatever you have in the house <coughs> or you don't need weights at all. <laughs> Okay, let's do three more. All right, now staying here, we're gonna pulse it up, up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. And again, drop them if you're tired, down an inch. Up and down, up, down, and up and hold. Breathe for three breaths. And one, and release. Let's just shake our shoulders. Bring your shoulders backwards, move them backwards, and then move them forwards. Good, and let's pulse our hands behind us. One, palms facing backwards. One, two, three, and palms facing forward. One, two, and three. All right, we're gonna do a little eagle arms. Release the weights to the ground for now. Arms are out to a T, and we're starting out. Bring our right arm over our left. Now, bring the back of the hands together for eagle, which is our visionary pose. And you can keep the legs the way they are. You can just cross the right knee over the left, all right? You can, if you want, you can bring your thumb into the third eye, right there, and visualize the colors we started with coming up and down the back of the spine, the rainbow. Vision that rainbow coming up and down the spine, all the way to the third eye this time. So breathe all the colors into the third eye, and then breathe them out, down to the tailbone. And again, and exhale them down. And release the arms now, release the legs. And we'll do the other side. So our left arm over this time. And again, you can have the back of the hands touching, bring that thumb to third eye and cross the left leg over. Close your eyes and breathe into third eye. Breathe in the rainbow. Do three more breaths. And release the arms out and release the legs. All right, let's well, grab your waist, come to standing position. 
You can hold your weights to your hands here. We're going to work a little bit of our marching. There's two options. You could do this without marching, or you could uh, use the weights and march together. So I'll show you the first option. The first option are uh, we're going to row, row, row. So you're going to bring your arms in front of you and row back. Arms in front and row back. Okay. That's option one, just without marching. Option two, arms in front, and they're going to start marching, bending the knee, and then row back. Forward and row. Bending the knee, row. Bending the knee, and row. Good. Now, option number one, you could do this just standing still. Otherwise, it's going to march. March, march, march. All right, now we're going to turn the palms down this time and row the other way. So our palms are down this time and row back. Woo, watch your balance. <laughs> back and back. Good. Keep going. Now, option just go like this or drop your weights. One, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. All right, let's release those weights. Bring them down and shake your arms out. Shake your arms out. All right, let's grab either the back of the one chair or if you have two chairs, you could do this. We're going to start on the ball of our feet, little balance. Feet are hip width apart. On the inhale, come up on the balls of your feet. On your exhale, let's just come down halfway. Then inhale, lift up again, and then halfway down. Four more. Now, if you can, you're going to stay up on the balls of your feet and breathe for four breaths if you can. If you can't, just go back to where you started. Good. And release those feet and walk it out. Shake it out. All right. Let's bring our right foot forward, pointy toe forward, left foot back, warrior one, 45 degrees. Good. Now here we're going to work with our arms a little again. Now again, option one, easy option. Keep your hands on the chair the whole time going back and forth. Keeping your hands on the chair. Harder option, we're going to work here in goal post. So bend the knees, come forward first. Bend your right knee. Open your heart center wide. On your exhale, you're going to bring the elbows toward each other. You don't have to touch and straighten the front leg. And then open, bend the right knee, open your heart up. Open, expand the chest, exhale. Inhale, open, expand the chest and close. Four more. And we're also working the legs. Again, this is the harder option. Use your easy option if you need to. Okay, remember everybody's responsible and they, they know how their body feels. Open the heart center, hold and breathe here. Three breaths or hang on. If you can't hold your arms up, just hang on to the chairs. Breathe. Good, release those arms and release that leg. Woo, let's do the other side. Our left foot is pointing towards me, towards the front of your room. The back foot is 45 degrees. You're gonna start out with a bend in the knee. Remember those options, hanging onto the chair, forward and back. Otherwise, we're opening the heart center here, bending the knee as we do that, and then closing and straightening the leg. Open. Three more. Keep breathing, open as you inhale, open. Inhale, open. Inhale, open, hold here in the open if you can, otherwise grab on. You're gonna breathe for three breaths. If you're grabbing on, you're gonna tilt your chin up. It's a little back bend here. Good, and exhale, release. Good, nice job, everyone. All right, let's grab one weight in our hand, our right hand. One weight or no weights. Remember, you can do all these poses without weights. Right hand's gonna hang heavy down, the lower hip. Left arm is going to sweep over our head. Sweep over your head, palm facing down. 
and breathe here. Coming back to where we started, switch hands, hang your left hand heavy now. Drop it down. Bring your right arm overhead and breathe here. Good, and coming back to neutral. All right, nice. Let's release the weights for now. Grab onto our chairs again. We're gonna work on some plies. If you only have one chair, go to the back of your chair. Okay, heels are in, toes are out. All right, we're doing some plies here, just on flat feet. We have about two fists width between the legs. Hang on to your chair, and bend the knees, come generously down, and then straighten the legs. Bend the knees, and straighten the legs. Good. Keep hanging on. Oh, I heard my knee crack. <laughs> if you hear things crack, it's okay. Unless you have pain. Then don't work in pain, so we never work in pain. Let's do four more. And now we're gonna hold down here if you can. Just breathe for four breaths here. And release that. Woo! Shake it out, walk it out, walk it out. Okay, we're gonna do a half a sun salute now. It's just a half a sun salute. Option number one, easy option. Inhale, exhale. Coming to the sides of your chair, or if you're in front, just coming to the middle of that chair, easy option, harder option. Inhale, exhale, fold, bend the knees, come forward, all the way, fingertips to the mat. And then swan dive up, good. Now either way, swan dive down. Swan dive up, good. Swan dive down, bend the knees as you come down. Swan dive up. Good, exhale, swan dive down. Reverse the swan dive up. This time we're gonna hang heavy low. Exhale, come down. Keep the knees bent if you need to. Grab your elbows and draw your forehead down. Stretch it out. Breathe here. Roll up one vertebra at a time. One vertebra at a time, inhale. Bring your palms together on your exhale. Woo, okay. All right, let's do our floating trees. All right, floating trees, hang onto that chair or the back of your chair. Starting out with our right leg, our right leg, left leg straight, right knees bent, coming out into a floating tree. Try not to touch, so hang onto that chair. If you're on the side of the chair, it looks like this. You're hanging onto the back of your chair. And all you're doing is lifting that knee up and tapping the toe down. Lifting it up, tap, and keep breathing. Five, and release that leg, shake it out. All right, and let's do the other side now. So our left knee turns out, toes pointing and then lifting up, and then lowering, and lift, good. Can we do four more? You're gonna feel this right here, and right this hip flexor, can you feel that? Yep, two, three, four, and just release that down and shake it out. All right, nice job. Use one chair, Whatever chair you have, you're gonna put your right foot up onto the chair. So you're gonna face, both of the feet are facing in the same direction here. And we're, we're gonna lunge with the right arm, we're gonna work our right arm lunging. Left hand is on our knee and then lunge forward with the right arm and then come back to center, okay? Let's do it again. How about three more? Make sure you're breathing. Three, hold it up here by your ear and lunge into it. Breathe for three breaths. 
and exhale, release. All right, let's keep that leg where it's at, and we're gonna work our pendulum with our arm, all right? So legs where it's at, right hand is down, and we're doing that pendulum and swinging, swinging it back and swinging it forward. So we're not gonna bring it all the way up to the sky, we're just bringing it back, looking behind, and then look forward. So moving your head and neck with this pendulum swing and forward. Four more times. Every time you go back, you're looking back. And four, good. Keep your leg there and scoot it up towards the edge of the chair. And then you're gonna flex that toe. All right, let's slide our right hand down towards the ankle. Left hand is holding onto the chair. And drop your forehead, breathe. And slide back up where we started. Okay, you can use your same, same chair. I'm gonna show you my left side on this side. So left leg is coming up and the hands, right hands on the knee. And we're gonna start with our left arm lunging. Lunge into it and then back. Lift it up, lift it up, and two more, the last one, and we'll hold here for four breaths, and release. Now, we're going to use our left arm for a pendulum swing, so left arm behind, and then sweep it forward. Behind, 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 and forward, and release. All right, keep the leg where it's at. Let's scoot it up to the edge and flex the foot. Right hand will be on the chair, back of the chair. Left hand slides down. Towards the ankle or the foot, draw your forehead down. Breathe here. Slide back up to where we started from, release the leg. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn my chair this way. And we're gonna do a couple um, a curses, okay? So, I'll show you what it looks like this way, then I'm gonna turn. So right foot will be behind us, so the ball of the foot coming down into curtsy. Now you have an option of just coming back to where we started or adding a little squat, okay? You don't have to add the squat, but it's a little option. Left leg back, you could just come back to where we started. You don't have to add the squat, but I'm gonna add a little squat. So our right leg comes back. So do what you feel is good for you today. Left leg back, come forward and squat. When you squat, you're going to come way back with your bum. All right, I'll show you what it looks like. Left leg back and squat, right? Now, if you don't want to squat, you just come back to where you started and just continue from there like that, okay? Keep going. Now, if you're in a squat or if you're not in a squat, let's just try and squat anyway on our own. Squat and hold. You can hang onto the chair for dear life. Hold and breathe for four breaths here. If you want to release, if you feel balanced, only if you feel balanced, you can release. And release now and shake it out. Woo, I know you felt that, right, guys? All right. <laughs> All right, good. All right, let's just do one more thing here. I'm standing and we'll sit down. So we're going to face our back of the chair with our back and we'll bring our hands here. It's a little background. We're going to walk forward, walk forward. Now I want you to bring the shoulder blades together, the scapula, tilt your chin up, look up, breathe here, a little back bend. Now 
if you're done and coming back to where we started from and turning around, let's give ourselves a nice hug. Draw your chin now towards your chest. Good, and coming back to neutral. Let's bring our arms around a circle, opening shoulders up, and then the other way, motion the other way. Good, let's grab, bend our right elbow, bring the left hand on the right elbow, and then just give yourself a little stretch here. Then bend the left elbow down, grab your right, uh, your right hand to the left elbow, push that down, breathe, a little tricep stretch, and release that out. Woo, it's time for seated. I know you're smiling now. <laughs> I know I can't see you, but I know you're smiling. <laughs> All right, let's come down and see the position. Woo -hoo. All right, let's grab our little weights. Grab your little weights. And bring your arms out, shoulder level. Shoulder is in alignment. And we're just starting here to lower our right hand towards our right knee, and then lift it back to where we started. Left hand out, down, lift. Alternate. Breathe. Keep breathing. Now rest, bring your arms down to rest. And let's we're going to sit and do this little rowing motion again. So our elbows are bent and we're going to go back and bring them forward. Bring them back behind you, bend the elbows and then straighten them out. Back and then straighten. So like you're rowing back and then straighten. Now drop the weeds if this gets too heavy for you. Straighten, back and straight. Good, five more, one. Two, three, drop them if you need to. Five, that was five. I did. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's release weights for now. And we're going to come into our angel wings. So our feet are apart, heels in, toes out like that. Heels in, arms are here by the ears. Inhale in place and exhale lower. Then open the arms into your angel wings. Come back to where we started. Sit up tall and lower. Open. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Now stay here, bend the elbows, grab your elbows behind you and just give those elbows a stretch behind you. So your elbows are like this behind you. All right, good job. And release our arms and shake them out. Roll your shoulders around. Good, we're gonna do a couple little teeny bridges. All right, so I'm gonna show you this way how it is. You can sit on the side of your chair if you want. Your hands are gonna be behind you. Okay, your fingertips can be pushed away from you. If you need to have them this way, you can bring them this way too. All right, now using the strength of your legs, we're just gonna lift up your glutes and exhale lower them down so you're not going to lift up really far it's just a little teeny bridge okay if you need to move the legs a little further you can if you have long legs like me you will have to inhale exhale good just lift up a little inhale use your arms so this is working your triceps too inhale and exhale inhale and exhale. All right, nice job. Keep your legs right there. We are gonna work some triceps now. We're gonna bring our hands like this, one palm on top of the other. 
elbows out to the side, place them on both of the legs, arms like this, and then exhale as you come forward, leaning into that. When you come back, you're gonna straighten those elbows the best you can. Come forward and then straighten. Good, keep going. Four more. And four. All right, good. Release, come back to center. And we're going to bring our, work with our right leg down, bring our hands underneath that right kneecap. And lifting the leg up and we're going to flex the foot as we straighten it and then bring it back and just do a couple more rounds of this so straighten it and then flex and then bend the knee and then straighten it four more one two three three and four Good, stay here, walk the hands, slide them up to blow the ankle. Now you might want to sit back further on your chair. You're going to keep the foot flexed and roll the ankle around. And then roll it the opposite way. Good, now bend this knee, bring it on the chair that you're sitting on. Bring your right hand behind you on left hand, wrap it around your right knee. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Breathe here. Good, come back to center. Then we're gonna raise our right arm, bend the elbow, bring it on the knee or to the side in front if you can manage it. Otherwise, stay on the knee. Bring the left hand behind you and look over your left shoulder, breathe. Good, and exhale, release the hands. Now we're going to keep this leg here, right leg, but then we're gonna bring the sole of this right foot all the way to the left thigh. All right, and we're going to push that right knee out for a nice stretch in this hip flexor and just stay here and breathe into that hip for four of your breaths, pushing it away from you. You're pushing that knee a little bit away. Remember, never work in pain. If it's causing you pain, then just back off a little bit. You never work in pain, not in yoga. <laughs> In Pilates, <laughs> and release that leg and bring that leg down to the ground and shake that out. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. So our left knee, bring your hands behind the left kneecap, interlace them, and all we're doing is flexing this foot out, and then bring the knee back in and flexing it out and bending the knee. Let's do four more. Four, hold it here, slide the hands up if you can, right below your ankle, like that, and then roll the ankle. Roll it around, so hang on, you can have them bend in the knee, and then roll it the other way. Good. Good. And release, bend the knee, bring in that left sole of the foot to the chair you're sitting on. This time, our left hand behind, our right hand wraps around, Exhale, sit up tall, and then look over your left shoulder. Four breaths here. Good, release that pose. Bring your right hand behind now, lift the left arm. Bend the elbow, bring it on top of that knee or to the side in front of it. If you, can, if you can manage it, 
Look over your right shoulder. Four breaths. Coming back to neutral now. Keep that leg there, but then bring the sole of the foot to the right thigh. And this is our stretch for our hips. Left hand will be on the knee. Just press lightly. You're going to feel that in the hips. Okay, and just breathe into the tight spaces. Breathe for four breaths here. And four, Woo! release that leg and shake it out. All right, let's grab a little weights again. Now again, you don't need weights for this. You cannot have them. Bring your arms out to goalpost arms. Turn your palms this way, facing the front of your room. And then we're gonna come up and tap the shoulder, tap and straighten the arms. And exhale back to the goalpost. And then come up and tap and back. Four more, one. Two, three, and four, and hold it here. Breathe through three breaths. Release that, bring your hands down, and we're going to do some crisscrossing now. So arms are out, shoulder level, then we're going to crisscross down towards your knees. And crisscross them up like you were scissoring your hands. And do them without weights if you need to. And release. And let's roll our shoulders out and shake them out. Shake them out. Opening them up. Give ourselves a nice hug. Draw your chin down towards your chest. All right, I'm gonna face the side of my chair and we're gonna use only our left arm. So your left arm starts out here by the rib cage area and we're going back to the count of two, one, two, and then straighten the arm and one, two, forward. Count of two. Now we're going to do one count back, one count forward, one, and one forward. So you're kind of swinging it. So again, you can drop your weight. And let's release that side, and let's work the other side. So come to your right side. So it starts out the rib cage area, bend in the elbow, and we'll go back, one, two, forward. Two counts. Now we're going to go to one. One count back, one count forward. Good, and release. Okay, let's release the weights down by our side. All right, we're gonna come into a forward fold. So let's bring our heels in again, toes out. And this time we're gonna see if we can come all the way down. So let's bring our arms up to the sky on the inhale. On your exhale, we're coming all the way down. If you can, come all the way down with your fingertips to the mat or your floor. Now, you can stay on your fingertips or you can walk your hands behind your heels and draw your palms down if you can. Otherwise, stay up on your fingertips, all right? Breathe, four breaths here. So then coming all the way back up to where we started. Good job, everyone. All right, scoot up to the edge of our chair, and we're going to do a little bit of a twisting here. So our arms again are in goalpost arms. Inhale in place, bring them up, and then exhale all the way over. This side, come back to center, 
and then to the left. And now here we're going to add the leg, come to the right. Now, when we come to the left, we're going to raise our right leg, look left, and then come back and drop the leg. Coming to the right and light, raise your left leg, and come back. Come to the left, raise your right leg, and come back. Come to the right, raise your left leg, and come back. And let's do three more rounds. A round is one, one on each side. And release. And let's give ourselves a hug around the back. Throw your chin down towards your chest. Good. All right. And release our hands down by our side. And we're going to windshield wipe our legs back and forth. So come like in the center of your chair, almost to the edge, bending both knees. So bring your legs a little bit far apart, a little further than hip width. And then on your exhale, I have both the knees. So come to the right. You're on the side of the foot. And look over your left shoulder, come back to center, and then both knees go to the left. Look over your right shoulder, so you're on the side of your feet like this when you're over. Look over your right shoulder, come back to center, both knees to the right, look over your left shoulder. Center again to the left, look over your right shoulder. Come back and other way, left shoulder, and come back to center. All right, scoot up to the middle of our chair. We're going to do seated pigeon pose. So our right knee is going to bend. Bring the ankle, right ankle on top of the left knee. Come on the pole of the left foot, and slide this right hand uh, in that hole. So right hand goes in the hole, interlace behind that left thigh. You can be on the ball of this left foot, okay? So a little pigeon pose here. You're gonna breathe for four breaths here. Good, and release that leg down to the ground. And now we'll do the other side. So our left leg is coming up, the ankle crosses over. Come on to the ball of this right foot and thread the needle. Thread the needle in, interlace, and hold and breathe here. Four breaths. four and release the leg and bring it back down all right so let's come to um, come up on our mat scoot to the edge of your mat and our heels in our toes are out bring your hands back behind you on the chair we're just going to lift and use our glutes to lift us up okay so engage your core muscle here and use your legs lift up with your glutes and contract and then Exhale them down. So when we're lifting up, we're going to contract our glutes. So lift up and contract and lower. Good. Go lift up and contract and lower. All right, good. Lift up and contract your glutes and lower. Let's do three more. Three. And three, all right, nice, all right. Okay, we're gonna do some uh, lion's breaths now. We're gonna do three lion's breaths. So that's inhale through the nose, and when we exhale, we're opening the tongue, all right? Inhale through the nose, and exhale, open the tongue. Inhale through the nose, exhale, open the tongue out. Inhale through the nose, Exhale, open and let it all go. All right, woo, that felt good. Let's work our head and neck a little bit. So 
We're drawing our chin down towards our chest and then coming to the right side. We're going to look up in a semicircle up to the sky. And then we're going to come down again towards the chin, towards the chest, and then semicircle to the left. Coming back to center, draw your chin down and then come to the right, look up. And then back to center, draw your chin down and look up to the left. Good, come back to center and then bring your head neutral. Let's drop our right ear to the right shoulder now. You can have your hands here or you can extend the left arm straight out, palm facing down. Keeping this right ear down, raise the right arm, tap lightly on the side of the head and breathe. Come back to neutral where we started from. Our left ear down. You can extend that right arm out or keep it down. If you want to extend it out, do that. Bring the left hand up. Tap the right side of the head and breathe here. Good, coming back to neutral. All right, release. Let's do some pranayama breathing with our bellies, all right? Let's bring our hands, it's called balloon breath. So bring your hand on your belly and just center in now, closing your eyes. On your inhale, what you're gonna do is fill the belly up. So feel the belly rising, feel it filling up on the inhale. And then deflate it, deflate the balloon on the exhale. And just Let's do four more rounds like this, just calming the body. This is used for anxiety and to calm the body. So let's inhale into the belly. And exhale, release up. Inhale into the belly. And exhale, release that. Then inhale in. And exhale, release that. Good. All right, just one last thing. We'll do our eye circles and then we'll go into Shavasana. So let's bring our eyes to 12 o'clock and breathe for three rounds, three breaths here. Then bring them to three o'clock and breathe for three breaths. And then to six o'clock, three breaths here. Then to nine o'clock, three breaths here. Then all the way around clockwise, three times, one breath each. And then counterclockwise, one breath each. Okay, good. Now let's just relax. If you have two chairs, you can bring your legs up on the chair for Shavasana or just relax at your palms down by your side. Closing your eyes. I'm going to put my music on. Hopefully you can hear it. If not, then um, we'll open the mics after this little rest here and breathe.
going to read a short book for the day. The residents take it with me today. Develop rituals to enrich your life. Our days are enriched when we participate in rituals that help create meaning, making our lives fuller and more rewarding. These rituals can be as simple as lighting a candle, saying a morning prayer, or setting an intention at the beginning of our day. We can bless our food before we eat or take a moment to write a daily gratitude list. When we engage in simple daily rituals, we direct our attention more fully to what is meaningful. Through this practice, our lives feel fuller and more satisfying. Today, create and participate in a personal ritual that celebrates something you value in your life. Thank you for being with me today. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste.